Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. I want to talk about the five first Saturdays devotion. Our Lady at Fatima said, I shall come to ask for the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart and the communion of reparation on the five first Saturdays. If my requests are heeded, Russia will be converted and there will be peace. Often we focus on the part I shall come to ask for the consecration of Russia. But actually, the communion of reparation on the five first Saturdays seems to be as much a part in the gaining of peace and the conversion of Russia as the consecration. And sometimes uh, some Catholic commentators who don't want to get into the muddy waters of whether the consecration of Russia has occurred, they focus in on the second part, that each one of us should be making the five first Saturdays, the communion of reparation on the five first Saturdays. I want to talk about that communion of reparation because certainly, aside from the consecration of Russia by the Pope with the bishops, we should be making the communion of reparation on the five first Saturdays. In fact, in fact, here in this uh, text that Our Lady says at Fatima, she doesn't say five. She just says on first Saturdays. So it seems like aside from the five first Saturdays promise, which gets revealed to Sister Lucy a little bit later, as I'm going to talk about, Our Lady wants us to make a communion of reparation on first Saturdays full stop. And that great good, indeed, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart will come about through these communions of reparation. A really good place to start in learning about the Five First Saturdays is this amazing edition of the Fatima Crusader, released summer 1995. The link is in the description. Because we learn, first of all, about the Great Promise. The Great Promise. The Great Promise, a bit like we talk about the Great Promise of the Sacred Heart that was made to St. Margaret Mary. Behold the heart that so loved men, and which in spite of this, receives so little love from the greater majority of mankind. And then our Lord asks St. Margaret Mary to make the nine first Fridays and says that those who make the nine first Fridays will receive the graces necessary for salvation. And a similar great promise, in many ways, even the setting is similar to Margaret Mary's apparition. Even the setting is similar. Um, anyway, our Lady says to Sister Lucy, he sh she shows Sister Lucy her heart. Look, my daughter, at my heart surround with thorns, with which ungrateful men pierce me at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. You at least try to console me and announce in my name that I promise to assist at the moment of death with all the graces necessary for salvation all those who, on the first Saturdays of five consecutive months, shall confess, receive Holy Communion, recite five decades of the Rosary, and keep me company for 15 minutes while meditating on the 15 mysteries of the Rosary with the intention of making reparation to me. So that's the great promise. At the moment of death, all the grace is necessary for salvation. So it's, an, it's an, a wonderful promise. It's a wonderful promise. This isn't the time really for a theological explanation of the promise. This is the time in which we accept that promise and we work out how do we go out uh, in gaining that promise uh, effectively, successfully. What are the conditions? And I'm going to focus in on those words. The first condition, five consecutive first Saturdays. It cannot be the 1st of March, and then the, whatever, the 3rd of, eight, 3rd of May, and then whatever, the 5th of, of June. It has to be five months in a row. And unfortunately, if, if you miss one of the months, you have to start again. Sometimes we wonder about these things that heaven asks, where heaven asks us to do something quite particular. Um, do we need to do it exactly that way? Well, remember the story about the Syrian Naaman, the leper, uh, when he's told to go 
into the water of the River Jordan. And I think is it five times he's asked to go into the water of the River Jordan. And he says, and then he want, he kind of, he's insulted about this. But then one of his servants says, look, if God had asked you to do something harder, uh, wouldn't you have done that? What he's asking is, is quite small. Uh, and you should do exactly what is asked. And we're all very aware of the conditions of the consecration of Russia and how precise those conditions are. Uh, we want the Pope and the bishops to to follow them to the letter. We should be following the letter of the the rules, the procedure behind the five first Saturdays. So it has to be five Saturdays in a row. Shall confess. Well, Sister Lucy, uh, in a later apparition, gain a clarification on the confession matter. Uh, because she asked, I think it was our Lord that she actually asks on this one. Yeah, she asks our Lord whether if it's possible that they can receive the communion and, and do confession at another time. And he says, yes, yes, the confession can be made later on, provided that they are in the state of grace when they receive me on the first Saturday and that they have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And uh, so... So there we go. If you don't, if you cannot go to confession on the day itself, you can go either eight days beforehand or afterwards. So basically you want to go to confession once a month. That's what the five first Saturday devotion is asking in terms of the confession requirement. Next requirement, receive Holy Communion. Now that seems to be the, uh, the key aspect, doesn't it? Communion of reparation so there's two aspects to that isn't there there's receiving holy communion and receiving holy communion with the intention of making reparation to her immaculate heart um, so there's two aspects of it first the first aspect about receiving holy communion on the saturday again our lord later on says to sister lucy that it's actually possible if a priest gives you permission, if a priest, I think probably it means your parish priest to give you permission, then you can receive the Holy Communion on the first Sunday. If one cannot fulfill the conditions on a Saturday, can it be done on a Sunday? People in the country, for example, will not be able very often because they live far away. And our Lord said on the 29th to 30th of May 1930, the practice of this devotion we eat could be acceptable on the Sunday following the first Saturday when my priests, for a just cause, allow it to souls. You know, it could be that it could be that the days of that just cause are not so um, are not so uh, pressing because if you think about it, she's talking about the country there, right? She's talking about people in the countryside without cars that have no ability to get to mass. I think nowadays. I think nowadays it is a lot easier to get to Holy Mass on a Saturday, to make an extra effort, maybe even to go to a Vigil Mass in addition to going to a Sunday morning Mass. But anyway, if your priest gives you a dispensation, and I think you need to ask him about this explicitly, then heaven will accept the decision of that priest. What an amazing uh, dignity um, Our Lady and Our Lord entrust to the Catholic priest. The communion of reparation. Now, it's a, it's a reparation aspect that is the most important part. It's called the communion of reparation. What does that mean? I think ultimately, reparation, reparation was made, was made perfectly by our Lord on the cross. And at Holy Mass, that reparation is made present at the moment of the twofold consecration. When you have our Lord inside of you, our Lord is, is continuing to offer that reparation to his Father. And in a communion of reparation, you unite with our Lord in his sacrifice of Calvary. You unite in offering that sacrifice to the Father. Unite your heart, your mind, everything in you. When the Immaculate Heart of Mary is involved uh, as an object 
in the communion of reparation. I think what you're doing is you're saying to God the Father, please, almighty God, forgive us for the offences we have made against the Immaculate Heart. So the sacrifice of Christ, the pleasing act of reparation of Christ, is offered to God the Father in order to satisfy the Father's just anger for all of the offences made against his beloved daughter's immaculate heart. Maybe that needs a bit more unpacking, but I think in my I think that's how I understand the communion of reparation. And what are those sins that offend Almighty God so much? Well, they were actually revealed. It was said. There are five types of offences and blasphemies committed against the Immaculate Heart. These are the ones that you are making reparation for. Blasphemies against the Immaculate Conception. Blasphemies against Our Lady's perpetual virginity. Blasphemies against her divine maternity and refusing at the same time to recognize her as a mother of men. Blasphemies of those who publicly seek to sow in the hearts of children indifference or scorn or even hatred of this Immaculate Mother. And fifth, the offences of those who outrage her directly in her holy images. They're slights against Our Lady, of course, and, and we do make reparation to Our Lady uh, also when we receive Holy Communion devoutly, and we can tell her, we can speak to her and say, I'm sorry, Mother, that these offences have been committed against you. But ultimately, the offences are against Almighty God uh, because, because she is his beloved daughter, his masterpiece in creation. Communions of reparation existed prior to Fatima in honour of Our Lady's Immaculate Heart or, or to make up for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart. In fact, some of them were involved um, communion and, and more Saturdays or more decades of the rosary. The devotion that Our Lady gave Sister Lucy was a simplified one with only five Saturdays, which correspond with these five grave sins committed against her Immaculate Heart. And making reparation in that communion is crucial. So if you receive, if you go to Mass on the five first Saturdays, but are not in your time of thanksgiving, really apologizing to God for these sins committed against Our Lady, and indeed uh, consoling her. Although the consoling her part seems to be more in the rosary, as we'll come on to, but making the communion of reparation with intention, with a deliberate intention, then I don't think you're doing it validly. So that's one thing that you need to try your best with. In the period of Thanksgiving, even if it's just 10 minutes, try and Try and as best you can imagine Almighty God offended by these sins and uh, apologize to him on the behalf of humanity for these sins that have been committed against Our Lady. Maybe meditate on how beloved she is to him and maybe meditate upon Our Lady at the foot of the cross being insulted by the wicked men because that's one of the... Um, one of those offences as those that fail to acknowledge her as a mother of, of the of the redeemer the next the next criteria recite the five decades of the rosary that seems pretty easy just have to make sure to recite the five decades of the rosary and again and again we're told that that for a just reason the rosary meditation can also be transferred to the Sunday. That's what it. That's what it says here in the in the guide that we've got here. Not only the communion, but also the recitation of the rosary and meditation on the mysteries can be transferred to the Sunday, for just motives of which priests are left the judges. So that's another really uh, interesting point. So if you have to, the entirety of the first Saturday devotion can be made on the first Sunday if a priest thinks that you have. A just reason and I think it's probably acknowledging that in canon law it's the parish priest who has the authority to grant dispensation so I expect that it's it's referring to to him and then this last of 
of all the requirements to keep me company for 15 minutes while meditating on the 15 mysteries of the rosary with the intention of making reparation to me. And that's a, that's a really important one. And as you know, I've, I began a series of videos trying to help you to fulfill that condition because I've always felt that that's one of the, that's maybe the tricky parts, the trickiest part of, of the, of the five first Saturdays, sitting down for 15 minutes to properly keep our lady company. In a letter that she writes, Sister Lucy, she explains that her method of doing this keeping company was each month to meditate on one mystery for 15 minutes. So the Annunciation, and then uh, the next month meditate on the Visitation, and so on. And she even gave a kind of discursive meditation guide on how you might do this um, Keeping Our Lady Company. So she says for for the first one, for the Annunciation, she talks about, you know, think about Our Lady's humility. Humility in receiving the message of the angel. Humility in being called the blessed of all women and the fullness of grace. And then go on to consider how to imitate Our Lady's humility. I hope that the videos that I'm doing on the the, the five first Saturdays, I hope that they are fulfilling this. And so with that, we have all the conditions. We've got all the conditions uh, laid out. There's a great grace personally in doing the five first Saturdays, Our Lady promising you the graces of salvation. But also, there's something there for the entire world because certainly in recent years, a number of Catholic commentators, priests, theologians, have made the point that the conversion of Russia seems not only related to its consecration, but also in a widespread embracing of the five First Saturday communion of reparation devotion. And once you've done the first Saturdays, the five first Saturdays, just keep going with it. That's what Sister Lucy did. That's what we should all try to do. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.